at West Texas Medical Associates. For storm team weather, here's Chief Meteorologist Josh Johns. So this week's Winning What the Weather Prize is something nice that you could have in your home. Yeah, you know, something you could throw on the floor in a nice way. They're yes. giving away a rug. This is from our friends at uh, Santa Fe Furniture and Gifts, and it's a rug that's a modern, traditional, classic collection. It was at the Rug Expo. A lot of cool information there. Valued at $250. Going to announce that winner during KSAN News at 6 on Friday. Head to the Contra Valley homepage by Thursday night at midnight to sign up for your chance to win that rug. And today wasn't an example of this, but over the last few days, been kind of hot. In fact, got a, got a question on my Facebook page about how many 100 degree days we've had so far. So, so far this year, we've had 23 days. That's 10 below what we had all of last year. It's above the average of 18.2 days, but it doesn't touch the record, which was 2011, 100 degree, 100, 100 degree days. Try saying that 10 times fast. In one year, most on record. Thankfully, not dealing with that this year. Instead, in the middle of July, we're dealing with some nice rain showers. This was the view earlier this afternoon from all four of our cactus cameras sitting on top of the Cactus Hotel. And you can see the rain shower that moved from east to west across the city. And then after that, it's been mainly cloudy through the evening with off and off, off and on light rain. I think that starts to quiet down as we go through the night, especially with things starting to clear out on the live radar network. But look at the radar replay, because we really had these showers and thunderstorms pop off around 2 to 3 in the afternoon this afternoon. And then really kind of hit or miss showers. If you got under one, it was very heavy rain. If you didn't, you stayed pretty dry. But a lot of you got under one. You can see the 12-hour rain totals. Some pretty good spots getting up towards 2 to 3 inches at times off to the west of Carlsbad to the northwest of El Dorado. We even had a viewer call in with 2 inches of rain there in Carlsbad. On the north side of San Angelo at the Mezzanette at the, off of 87, picked up about an inch of rain. So some good rains falling, at least where it did fall. And that also kept the temperatures down. Only topped out at 86 today. On average, we should be at 95, and we're below the record of 106 back in the 1930s. Now we're going to see that 100 degree temperature type weather come back as we go through the week, but we've got one more shot of rain tomorrow before we head back to those 100s as we go into the end of the week and into the weekend. Nice temperatures out there right now. Low 70s, 72 in San Angelo, 69 degrees in Barnhart, 75 down in Roosevelt, and 80 degrees in Junction. You're one of the spots to miss out on the rain today, and those dew points are pretty stiff too. Currently in the low 70s, that means we could see some patchy fog develop even by midnight in some spots. I think the sky will be too cloudy to allow that to form, but it wouldn't surprise me, especially where you got some of the heavier rains as those winds start to calm down tonight. What it will do, though, is keep things kind of cloudy overnight and potentially lead to one or two more showers by morning. Although nothing on radar right now, nothing really makes me think that we'll get a lot of rain overnight. I think it'll be a pretty quiet night. Got a cold front to the north. It's not coming our way. Instead, we're going to see this high pressure system kind of build over us again. That means we'll see an end to those rain chances as we go through the next few days. Take a look at Futurecast because it tries to send stuff towards us overnight. I think that's a lot of junk in the model. I don't think that's going to happen. You could wake up to a stray shower in the morning. I think what's more likely is maybe one or two of those hit and miss showers as we get into the afternoon tomorrow with temperatures getting back into the mid-90s. And then starting off Wednesday, going to be seeing those temperatures in the 70s again and then getting into the afternoon, climbing up into the mid-90s a little bit on the humid side. We start getting into the triple digits when we get back towards the end of next week. Tonight, 70 degrees, mostly cloudy with a stray shower by the morning, possible. I think most of us end up dry though. Tuesday, 95, partly cloudy with a few storms, about 20% chance of rain. Winds will be out of the south 5 to 10 miles per hour. And take a look at your extended forecast. As I got a 20% chance of rain Tuesday, upper 90s Wednesday and Thursday. And then we're back in the hundreds, triple digits by Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'm holding out uh, hope that we get a little bit of rain on Monday. It's a low chance, but I'm seeing a little bit of a sign of kind of this little tropical stuff that tried to move in this week, too, and brought us the rain chances. That trying to redevelop as we go into the early parts of next week. So I put a 10% on Monday. Otherwise, going to be a hot end to the week and end to the weekend. Going to be one of those days you want to go out to the lake. Oh, yeah. Or oh, a yeah. pool or any kind of... Absolutely. Drink water, carry yes. a life jacket with you. Definitely. And you'll be fine. Yeah. Yep. All right. Thanks, Josh. And coming up later in the show, we'll have the story on how Olive's nursery came to be here in San Angelo after the break.